Welcome everyone from the desert, bringing you desert faith at desertbedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From a demonstration by Euphrates, Bishop. Circumcision of the Heart. Law and Covenant have been entirely changed God changed the first pact with Adam and gave a new one to Noah. He gave another to Abraham and changed this to give a new one to Moses. When the covenant with Moses was no longer observed, he gave another pact in this last age, a pact never again to be changed. All these covenants were different from each other. Moreover, the circumcision that is approved by the giver of those covenants is the kind of spoken of by Jeremiah. Circumcise your hearts. If God's pact with Abraham was firm, so also is this covenant firm and trustworthy, nor can any other law be laid down, whether it originates outside the law or among those subject to the law. Moreover, our God is truthful and His commandments are most trustworthy. Every covenant was proved firm and trustworthy in its own time. And those who have been circumcised in heart are brought to life and receive a second circumcision beside the true Jordan, the waters of baptism that bring forgiveness of sins. 
Jesus, son of Nun, renewed the people's circumcision with a knife of stone when he had crossed the Jordan with the Israelites. Jesus, our Savior, renews the circumcision of the heart for the nations who have believed in him and are washed by baptism. Circumcision by the sword of his word, sharper than any two-edged sword. Jesus, son of Nun, led the people across the Jordan into the promised land. Jesus, our Savior, has promised the land of the living to all who have crossed the true Jordan and have believed and are circumcised in heart. From the desert, with Desert Faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.